Hi everybody. Apologies for the 3D printer noise in the background. Through the kindness of the federal government, I was able to afford this new CNC router laser. With a couple of YouTube videos under my belt, I felt fully prepared to assemble the unit. It was fun, and I completed the assembly in about an hour. The cable for the router motor was damaged, so I decided to familiarize myself with the 5.5 watt laser. I'm always amazed how watching a few YouTube videos and drawing on experience from similar fields of interest makes it possible for a hobbyist like me to achieve something like this. Unfortunately, my room smelled like a campfire for a few days. It wasn't completely objectionable. Safety first. I sure hope these aren't cheap tinted plastic. I'm also trying to remember to lock the door when the laser is operating. I rescued the storage container that was about to be donated to our favorite thrift shop. My plan is to run the CNC in the enclosure inverted as shown. To deal with fumes, I purchased a 120 millimeter 12 volt fan that I hope will exhaust the fumes out to a window. The router already requires 12 volt power, so running the fan should not be a problem. To, to connect the fan to the window, I'm using a flexible 4 inch dryer vent hose. I designed and 3D printed this adapter. Dang, I'm getting good at this. The screw holes for the fan fit perfectly. Designing these parts improved my use of the SketchUp Follow Me tool. The files are available on Thingiverse. Links in the comments below. The other part goes in the window and is custom designed to fit our windows. I'll use cardboard to block off the rest of the window if the fumes drift back into the room. It is taking forever to print. It has one big overhang and Kira did something new with the supports there on the right. We'll see how that works. In part two, I'll cut a hole in the back side of the container and mount the fan. I'll also cut some vent holes in the front and 3D print, or laser cut, some vent covers for those. Subscribe and ring the bell if you want to follow this project. I don't publish videos often, so this is the best way not to miss out. I look forward to sharing my CNC laser and routing journey on this channel. And as always, thanks for watching.